to be where we'd come here and we'd get the awards for the playing and stuff but today we're going to honor the, uh, the creativity of, of writing and I think that's very important to remember. Of course journalists is how we that's how we get to be known out in the world it's essential almost as important as the audience itself. <laughs> present here at the Jazz Awards. We're here to celebrate some excellence in journalism today. And uh, before we get to the awards, I, I, do, I do want to um, recognize what we call jazz heroes. I'd like to say hello to one of our jazz heroes in the house, John Lamkin II. Where are you, John? Congratulations. Also want to recognize uh, our jazz hero from Toronto, Patrick Taylor. Patrick. All the way... Patrick's got the idea, he's at the bar. For our next jazz hero, it's someone from Newark, New Jersey. And uh, he's unable to be here uh, at this time. Um, he is currently on medical leave. He's the uh, president and CEO of Newark Public Radio, Inc., which is WBGO, and uh, that is Cephas Bowles. You know, revive music is something, it's not just the name of our organization, but it's something that we do. And though we started off doing a lot of, you know, um, uh, merging of hip hop and jazz, it's not just about hip hop and jazz, it's really about great music and providing a platform for musicians to be able to expose their, their gift to the world. Now to get the evening started, I'd like you all to join me in a toast to all of our nominees and honorees jazz men and women and journalists alike. We are in rare and distinguished company. Congratulations, one and all. Every honeybee feels a jealousy when they see you out with me. I don't play them goodness knows. You're my honeysuckle rose when you're passing by. Flowers droop inside and I know the reason why. You're much sweeter, goodness knows, and you're my honeysuckle rose. I don't buy sugar. You just have to touch those strings, cause you're my sugar. Woo! Cameron, when you make it swing, when I'm taking sips from your tasty lips, and the honey fairly drips, your confection, goodness knows. Why are you smiling? Are you happy? Why? Cause you're playing jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing like it. Keep it alive, folks. So, David, when did you join the JJA? <laughs> 2001, I think. I probably was right around there too. What was the appeal of uh, this organization? Well, uh, you know, I was getting to know people like Howard Mandel, the president, and Ted Pankin, and my other colleagues, and uh, you know, it just seemed like the obvious right choice to you know get to know people better have access to events uh develop a sense of uh camaraderie with with uh, people that i already knew and meet people that i didn't know or, uh, that i didn't know so yeah i i 
You know, it's interesting because it, the camaraderie thing is something that I, I really like about it because, I mean, a lot of us who are freelance, you know, we sit at home toiling in our in our little hovel Underpants. surrounded by <laughs> piles of CDs and stuff and to actually get out and to interact with people in a face-to-face manner is just something that's, you know, it, it's it's remarkably pleasant. Yes, in this yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> I'm just distracted by Ethan Iverson is arriving. Um, I remember learning about jazz desperately, like where do I find out? Go to the high school library, not much there. Wrestle my way into the college library, or there's some, some something there. Got to get the records, got to get the records. Order the complete Herbie Nichols from Mosaic, the liner notes by Roswell Rudd. Still probably the greatest thing that's written about Herbie Nichols and uh, definitely the, the most profound influence on my own attempts to, par- to parse the music as a player. Thank you. Uh, have a good rest of the award ceremony. Getting the word out. That's the thing. You know, getting the word out is like getting the music out. And as a performer, I can tell you that we have to do this. This is what we were put on earth to do. And it's just as important to keep the word alive as it is to keep the musical sounds alive. They are voices that go together and reinforce each other. Keep putting the feeling out there. I'm very pleased to be validated, as I think we all are, at our different times. The only uh, complaint I have is that uh, Sheila had invited me to sing a duet with her on Honeysuckle Rose, and she did it without me. (laughs) Thanks. A shout to my main outlets, the New York Times, which lets me get away with so much, and Jazz Times, for which I'm about to write my 100th gig column. Evan, I'll have that to you on time this month, I swear. I've heard that before. So the winner is W. Royal Stokes. And, uh, you know, most of us who write about jazz write about jazz, but... Royal, what he's done, which is so exceptional, is he's let the musicians speak for themselves. His books are absolutely indispensable um, because he stays out of the way and he allows them the freedom to talk about their music and themselves and their lives in the way that he allows them to be as eloquent as they can be. Uh, It's just a delight to uh, give you this award. It's especially rewarding to receive this by the vote of my colleagues. That's a very special thing. I am honored, I'm deeply moved, and frankly, I'm delighted. The reason I'm accepting, is, is, uh, accepting this award is that I edited the book. And um, it says so right there on the front page. You know, to take, my, <laughs> take my word for it. Um, but what's important to know is that <clears throat> Gary Burton wrote this book. He was tickled at the idea of getting this nomination from a bunch of writers because it's his first attempt at writing. For photo of the year, you can see these photos at jjajazzawards.org. The nominees are Benny Golson by Antonio Parcar Cano. Antonio is here. David Vireas by Barbara Adamic. Paco Seri by Gerard Boinel. Herbie Hancock by Joke Shoot. Uh, Hiromi Uhara by Oleksii Karpovich. Cecile McLaurin Salvant by Richard Condi. Paolo Frezu by Roberto Cifarelli. Fred Wesley by Sandro Biboli. And Ravi Best and TJ Tommy James by Vladimir Robitsin. And the winner is <laughs> Benny Golson standing in front of a photo of Billie Holiday by Antonio Porcar Cano. Thank you to the GGA. This is a uh a very nice prize to a jazz and photography lover. Time for some music. How about Ilio Villafranca? Where are you, Ilio? And the jazz syncopators.
Thank you so much.